What's up, folks? Dan here from BeGameCharacter.com for another edition of Q&A Tuesday, the best day of the week. I'm looking super scruffy, and I need to shave bad and probably a haircut, too, but that's okay because we're going to get rolling. Anyway, we've got some great questions to start with today, and of course, if you're tuning in on Facebook Live, go ahead and ask questions below, and I will answer them midstream. So, starting off, we've got Your Name, who says, Hey, Dan, I'm actually a boy, to answer your question. <laughs> I'd probably wish myself to be on... Bra oh, I'm sorry. Before we go any further, the question from last week was, uh, if you had a magic wand that you could wish yourself, you know, you could use to put yourself anywhere you wanted, doing anything you wanted, where would you be and what would you be doing? So, that was last week's question. Uh, my answer to that question is, at this moment in time right now, I'd probably be on vacation, sipping an umbrella drink. <laughs> So, uh, to answer your question, this is your name again, I'd probably wish myself to be on Broadway performing. That's fantastic. I've been to Broadway. If you've never been to Broadway, I absolutely recommend you go and watch a few shows. It's awesome. It's a good time. Are making slash acting in a movie somewhere, while I absolutely love lifting, running, martial arts, or just working out in general, I've always been a performer and a creator. I just like being seen or my work being displayed because to me, that's how you live forever. You know... You should start a YouTube channel, your name. Just saying. You're already here on YouTube talking with us. You should start it. Just start putting some stuff out, whatever you want. You know, I mean, you never know. Maybe somebody will like what you're doing. To further delve into my question from last week, I'm predominantly a lifter, but I chose to start running while lifting in about June, and now I'm here. But I'll take your advice because it makes sense to me. Gaining about a pound a week is better than just getting fat. Part of me hates being just hates being skinny. Ha ha. You know, I mean, honestly, even half a pound a week. Like... My question this week has to do with ego. <clears throat> I try not to get a big head, but part of me just hates when out of shape people try to belittle my work. I know that sounds very big-headed, but I'd like to know how to deal with this problem. Thanks, Dan, and have an amazing week. Um, <clears throat> haters gonna hate, man. <laughs> I wish I had a better answer for you than that. But the reality is, at the end of the day, you win by knowing that you're right and they're wrong, no matter what they say. And most of the time, the words aren't really going to affect your life in any way, shape, or form anyway. But you can always try and... it's Telling somebody they're straight up wrong is never going to help. But you could say, well, you know, I, I looked into this and it really taught me a lot. Maybe you should look into it as well. Or uh, I went to BeAGameCharacter.com, which is an amazing website where you learn all kinds of fantastic things. And it taught me a whole lot. Maybe you should go check it out too. <laughs> Uh, but obviously trying to tell somebody they're wrong in the moment usually doesn't work and trying to educate people is always only half and half. But if you convince people to seek out information on their own, then usually you stand a better chance of changing hearts and minds. So that would be my recommendation. If you got somebody that's just spewing falsehoods at you and or discrediting what you're doing, I mean, first of all, again, you're right. Second of all, you know, that. All you can do is just help lead them to the water. You can't make them drink it. So, there you go. And uh, we got Elizabeth Dorothy down on Facebook Live. Says, good advice, bro. Thank you. I try. Sometimes I have good advice. Sometimes I'm just talking too much. So, your name. You have an amazing week as well. And uh, we will see you next time. Mr. Reed White says, and I was corrected, it's Reed White, not Red White. Uh, Mr. Reed White says, marvelous, I would use this magic wand to take me to the place of the winning lottery ticket. Swipe that sucker and use all the money to help out friends and family and find themselves stuck in life because of credit problems. Ah! <laughs> That's like my vacation and umbrella drink. <laughs> Fantastic. Yours is a little more selfless, though. I just want a break. You are like, hey, I'm going to help a lot of people out. You know, that's actually a big problem for people to win the lottery. They have a lot of friends and family that, you know, all of a sudden come out of the woodwork and start asking for money and expect to get it just because they're friends and family. As I've, I've heard a lot of lottery earners that have run into that. And, like, you get a big pile of money, but it can mess up a lot of your relationships with the people because they're like, hey, give me money. And you're like, I... I I, I guess I give you a little bit. I don't know, man, but that's that's very selfless. So that, that's a good answer to the question. After all that, I would donate to all the content creators on the web that strike my fancy. You would, of course, be included, Dan. Cha-ching. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Mr. Reed White, you got to go read, go win the lottery right now and uh, give me all that money. <laughs> now a question for you, old chap. If you could create a video game with unlimited budget, what would it be? Oh. Um... Well, first off, I feel like unlimited budget would be almost a hindrance. I feel like if you have too much money, you try and do too much. A substantial budget. Let's, let's say a realistically and substantial budget. I would, 
it would probably be an augmented reality game. Uh, I have forever had this idea in my head for a game, and it's taken many forms across different mediums, and Pokemon Go convinced me that this needs to be an augmented reality game, possibly interfaced with, like, Oculus Rift or whatever, you know, the, the Gear VR, some sort of uh, a virtual reality thing, where basically the game is about building plants and animals, like creating them with from different parts and stuff like that, and then setting them out in the world, and you have no control over them, but you want to set them out in the world, and they will, uh, uh, you know, go and live and breed and evolve and change to adapt their environment. And your goal is to try and, you know, have the most populous animal in the world. It'd be a giant multiplayer game. And your way, you can't interact with the creatures, but you can interact with the world at large. So you can, you know, you can, within reason, add water, take water away, terraform, change different areas. And obviously that would be based on some sort of resource system. You can't just instantly alter areas of the earth but the reason i wanted to be an alternate reality game an augmented reality game is because like so you create the creature and then you put on your vr goggles and you look around and you are actually in the world and you can change the world around you in the game and it's related to real world locations and stuff like pokemon go so that would probably be the game that i created i think that would be really awesome i have a lot of fun and uh i think people are really into it but i also think it would take a significant budget so excellent question and as always, have a splendid week. You have a splendid week as well. Now we got Elizabeth pop up with a question down in the Facebook comments. If I'm going for muscle gains, is it detrimental to my proge progress to do martial arts and cardio in general? I enjoy these things a lot, but I don't want to sacrifice any muscle gains. Okay, so cardio kills gains is a big myth. The issue with cardio is, like any other exercise, adding it into your lifestyle, adding it into your routine, is going to make you burn more calories, which means you need to eat more food to overcome that calorie burn rate. That, that's it. So if you want to add cardio in, that's fine. Just eat more food because of it. So if you're you know running three times a week, you're burning more calories, and so you need to make sure that you keep your protein intake high, but you also need to update up your uh, carb intake mostly to provide you with the energy for those workouts and also to make up for the caloric deficit that, that cardio and running and martial arts will do. Uh, I myself am currently doing lifting and martial arts and running, so my goal right now is to go on a cut. I'm currently cutting my weight down, trying to hit 180, and I don't know if I'll get there or not. I might be happy at 185, but... So what I would want to do once I hit 180 is I want to start eating at a slight surplus because it's very hard to increase your lifts while eating at a deficit. So I would eat a slight surplus, which I will be doing. And if you're following Going Superhuman on YouTube, we're going to hit that point. Nutrition is the discussion this week. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow and uh, we'll get a little more in depth. Basically, long and short of it is eat more food, go ahead and go for a run. <laughs> So I hope that helps, and uh, thanks for the question. That's an excellent question, and I'd love to clear up that myth. Uh, now, and also, quick interlude here. If you're like trying to compete at the very upper echelon of extreme weightlifting, you might just not have the time or energy to devote to cardio. But if you're not looking to, you know, like be number one in world powerlifting meets and strongman competitions, you should be fine. Moving on, we have Anonymous Bob 123 who says, if you could create a crossover between any two series, whether it be a TV show, video game, comic, etc., what would the crossover be? Woo. There are so many options. Oh, God. I think I would... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I would love to see John Constantine and Doctor Strange just go on bro adventures throughout the mystical universe all the time. <laughs> I would love to see Constantine and the Sorcerer Supreme just go out and just do magic stuff. And I would want to see it, I think I'd want to see it in like live action serial TV show form, like done by like, you know, HBO or Netflix or something like that. I think I would enjoy the heck out of that. I think that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> And I think their personalities would be great. I think they would clash like hell. I think it would be a real good, not a buddy comedy. I don't think it would be a comedy necessarily, but I think it would be a lot of funny moments. So I think uh, Constantine, Doctor Strange, crossover event, just have him just hanging out doing magic stuff all the time. <laughs> also, have a great day. You have a great day too, Anonymous Bob. That's a great question. Thank you. 
Moving on, we have Storyman09, a newcomer. Hello. He says, hello, I am re relatively new to your channel, even though I visited the blog for a while. I only just recently realized, hey, he has a YouTube channel that might be cool to check out. Spoiler alert, it was cool to check out. Awesome. Welcome. In answer to this week's question, I'm currently happy with the state I live in, though I'd probably move close to the coast if I had a magic wand to make it so. I'd likely be writing for a living, possibly trying my hand at blogging and training intensely with skilled martial artists. Maybe even doing amateur MMA stuff on the side, though I'm pretty certain MMA isn't big in my state, and the cost probably doesn't the coast probably doesn't have anywhere for me to do so. But hey, magic. <laughs> My question, now by the way, those are those, those are cool goals. You should start writing now. Just go do it. I mean, your name is Storyman09. Come on. You know what you should do? You should go to the writing prompts subreddit. Here's 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 something. This is cool. This is something I've seen lately that I want to maybe start trying to do if I find myself a little free time. <laughs> free time. Uh so a lot of people will go to the writing prompts subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash writing prompts, and they'll just grab a writing prompt that pops up and, you know, write a page or two for it. And then they'll create their own subreddit, like just their username as a subreddit for all their little story bits. And that way, when they write a story bit, then they go and they catalog it in their own subreddit. They build their own little body of work for, like, people to go and check out their stuff if they enjoy their writing. So it's a great way to practice writing. It's a great way to practice microblogging. And uh, you can just kind of <clears> – <throat> you don't even have to think of ideas because it's a writing prompt subreddit. You can just go and hop in and be like, oh, that sounds a good idea. Write on that for a minute. It's a great exercise, and it's a great way to generate a little publicity for yourself. So I might start doing that. So you should do that before I can. <laughs> My question is, and forgive me if you've heard it before, since I am re-familiarizing myself with martial arts, in case you can't tell by now, I am a martial artist, what do you think are the areas to focus on and train in the most? Depends on how much you need to re-familiarize yourself. Um, of course, if you've done any style with forms or kata or something like that, obviously practicing those is a good idea, you know, whatever you know, and going through them uh, real slow. It's one of my favorite things to do is to go through kata forms real slow and just verify technique the whole way through. Um, <clears throat> so I would recommend that. Um, cardio, getting your cardio back up again, because that's going to pay off no matter what kind of martial arts you study and where, you know, what your interest is in them. Cardio always helps. Uh, beyond that, just, I would say find a teacher and pick little sections of your knowledge and ask them to fine tune it. So just go ahead and uh, be like, you know, hey, sensei, could you check this one thing? Hey, Sifu, I've got this one thing that I'm not sure of. And do that little bit by bit by bit as you slowly build your, bang the rust off and build your knowledge back up again. So that would be my recommendation. <clears throat> uh, I hope that helps. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I look forward to seeing you regularly on Q&A Tuesday because I love new questions and that was a good question. Uh, Castillo196 says, Hey Dan, do you have a Patreon or something along those lines set up for those of us who'd like to give a little something back for all the work you provide us with? Not yet. I did for a little while, and it didn't, it didn't really take off. At the time, I was also a lot less active, and there were less readers and watchers. So, it's something I might think about soon. You're actually the first person since to come back to, actually not the first, you're one of the first people to ask about that. And I think if I get a few more people asking about it, you know, maybe I will go ahead and look into setting up a Patreon account. So, you know what? There we go. That, that's, that'll be our question for next week. Do you think I should set up a Patreon account? Um, <clears throat> and I, I guess if I set up a Patreon account, would you actually end up donating money to it? Not that you should feel obligated to, but I've got very limited time right now. So the time it would take to setting up a Patreon account and get all that going. I, if I could spend that time better somewhere else, developing new products and new stuff for you guys... You know, I'd rather do that. But if it turns out there's a number of people that would say, yes, I absolutely would contribute to a Patreon account, even if it was just like a dollar or whatever, I don't care, um, then maybe I'll go ahead and look into setting one up. So that, that'll be our question for next week. I'll reiterate it at the end of the video. But, uh, you know, if you would donate to a Patreon account if I set it up, <coughs> excuse me, um, w would you do so? So that is it for Castillo196. Thanks for the question. That's that's awesome. Um, I that's the first time someone's asked it publicly in Q Day Tuesday, so I appreciate that. Uh, moving on, we've got Project Ronin HD, who says, also a newcomer, I believe, and Castillo is a newcomer too. We got some new people this week. Samurai Jack or Afro Samurai as a character asked Project Ronin to HD, and I say that is not fair. How the heck are you supposed to choose between Samurai Jack or Afro Samurai? That's messed up, man. I can't do that. 
Oh God. Um. <clears throat> ah. I can't. <clears throat> they are awesome, and I don't know why I've got a frog in my throat all of a sudden. I don't have any water even. Damn. <clears throat> um. All right. I'm going to have to pick Samurai Jack only because I hit Samurai Jack younger in my life, so he's got a little more nostalgia for me. But you know what? They're both badass. I don't want to have to choose between the two. So Samurai Jack slightly above Afro Samurai, but only just barely. <clears throat> um, so thanks for the question. And uh, next week, you guys both, Castillo and Project Ronin, you guys guys, the question of the week. That's, that's a rule. Uh, but thanks for asking the question. Thanks for stopping by, Project Ronin, and uh, as well as Castillo196. I hope to see you both again. I appreciate new people. I'm glad to have you here. Next up, we have Benrex777, a regular on the channel. says, hello, Dan. Since I have no comment on your previous video, I'll answer my own question in that video. What would change if everybody around me had the same strengths and weaknesses as me? Uh, if everybody around the same strengths and weaknesses as Benny then we would have no more racism, hate, greed, and jealousy would be almost completely disappear. The people would be more thankful for what they have and enjoy life a bit more. But I'm very bad at organizing things, and my motivation to start things is very low. Therefore, if everyone would be like me, the world would be a more peaceful place, but they wouldn't find a way to motivate themselves with the technological progress would slow down tremendously. <laughs> well, strengths and weaknesses. Where would I go if I had the magic wand? Uh, when I think about the possibilities we have in our world, I can do almost anything here. In the movies and games, they only show the exciting things of the story. All the boring and tedious stuff is left out. And there are way more people in the world that have no magical powers or aren't even capable of making a journey. But this is not what you wanted to hear. If I have to create a world which I have to live in, it would be inspired by the Swiss Alps. I really like the mountains and the valleys, forests and meadows, streams and farms, and the four scenes of the year. The world I would create is no big wars, plagues, and natural disasters. The supernatural power I'd love to have is total control over the light. To mention a few possibilities with light, you can make laser beams. You can create illusions. You can heat materials up, and light can even, can even cool down materials and magnetize metals. The only problem with light is that it cannot move or stop objects. Nifty. Pretty cool. And now the question for you. What kind of things do you dream at night? Hmm. A lot of stuff. Um... Oh, my favorite dreams are the action-heavy ones. I sometimes dream of being pursued. They're very fun. I dream about a lot of things. Uh, I have a lot of dreams where I am sort of in a video game-ish kind of a thing. Uh, lots of those kinds of scenarios where, you know, I've got various powers and I'm on quests and stuff, which is fun. Um, I love flying dreams. Dreams where you fly are, like, the best dreams ever. Oh my god, I, I have them every now and then, and I would just love, if I could go to sleep and just dream about flying every single night, I don't think I'd ever have insomnia ever again. <laughs> uh, beyond that, the pursuit dreams, I've had those before, where you feel like you're getting chased. I actually really want to make a video game someday about being just perpetually chased. Obviously, it'd be like a survival horror style game, but I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think I, I've talked about that before. So, uh, you know, I mean, general, the, the run-of-the-mill stuff. Uh, I used to have dreams where I'd get into fights, but, like, none of my punches or kicks or sword swings or whatever I had didn't, they, they wouldn't do any damage to the person I was fighting. Incredibly demoralizing. Like, it's one of those, you're just, like, hitting something as hard as you can, and it's, like, nothing. It's like that, you know, the movie scene where, like, the bad guy gets hit, and they just kind of, like, turns his head back, and he's like, ah, and it doesn't, like, hurt at all, and you're like, oh, no! I used to have dreams like that all the time. I don't have many more, but I used to have dreams like that all the time, and I was like, oh, those are awful. Uh. So, those are the kinds of dreams that I have at night. Have a nice week, Benny. You have a nice week as well. Thanks for the interesting question. You always have the most unique questions. I love it. Uh, and that's it for Benrex777. Moving on to John Smith. Not sure about the world, but if I could go anywhere, be wherever else is life. Okay, cool. And what are good strongman lifts to practice, and do you like the Twilight Zone? Okay, strongman lifts, Atlas Stones. There is nothing that I think is a more... Uh, I mean, they're definitely one of the best indicators of overall total body strength is grabbing a giant heavy weirdly shaped object and picking it up and putting it somewhere so atlas stones awesome if you can't do atlas stones if you don't have an access to atlas stones which is probably most people in the world you can grab a cargo bag and fill it up with you know 50 or 100 pounds of sand 
uh, and it'll behave rather similarly, not exactly the same because obviously the sand can tend to shift around a little bit, but it can be kind of similar to an Atlas stone. So I would say Atlas stone lifts, also thick bar lifts. And if you guys are looking at the blog, the Zarya workout, Zarya from Overwatch, went up yesterday on the blog, and she actually features a couple of these lifts. So Atlas stone lifts, um, thick bar deadlifts, either with fat grips on the bar or an actual like axle bar. Both of those are great indicators of overall total body strength. So I would say those two, Atlas Stone lifts and uh, Thick Bar deadlifts are my two favorite like strongman competition lifts. And uh, as far as the Twilight Zone, I do, I, I'm not that up on the Twilight Zone. Like it's not really a fandom I've ever really dipped into. I've liked the couple of Twilight Zone episodes I've seen. Like they're cool, they're, they're, they can be thought provoking. Um, also, also sometimes very, very bleak. But... You know, Twilight Zone is cool, and I feel like there is no real modern-day equivalent to what the Twilight Zone was to people back when the Twilight Zone was on the air. So, yeah, good questions. Thank you, John Smith. And uh, let's see, do we have any more? No, we have no more questions on Facebook Live. I see we've got a couple watchers, Facebook Live people. If you want to ask questions, now is your last chance, uh, or I'll just give you a shout-out, whatever you want. But it looks like besides that, we are just about done. So thank you for watching. Uh... We have all Unleash the Ultramind going up either later today or probably tomorrow. More likely tomorrow because I'm running out of time right now. I have to work out before I go to work. So, And it's not quite done yet. So it will be Bill Gates. Bill Gates will be going live on Unleash the Ultramind, but probably tomorrow, not today. Uh, also tomorrow here on this channel, we have Going Superhuman, the next episode, which is going to be, as I mentioned, about nutrition and uh, my general lifestyle shifts that I'm making right now to accommodate my new training schedule. So... I hope you uh, come back and check that out tomorrow and check out Unleash the Ultramind tomorrow as well for Bill Gates, who has been absolutely fascinating to learn about. I love the Unleash the Ultramind series because I get to learn about all these super cool, super weird people that are incredibly smart. Really nifty stuff. So come back tomorrow. Check that stuff out. Um, your question for next week, again, just because this was put forward um, by Castillo196, if I set up a Patreon would you donate to it? Would you go ahead and contribute to that Patreon? If not, that's fine. I don't want you to feel pressured to do it. But I've had people ask me, and I've had a couple people ask me with Castillo included. So if you would you know, consider donating any amount of money to that, you don't have to tell me what it would be or whatever. That's fine. Just let me know if you actually would donate. Because if enough people say, yes, I would donate to it, then I'll go ahead and set up a Patreon account. If not, that's totally fine. You could say, uh, I don't have the money for that right now, or I don't really, you know, I can't do that right now, or I don't think you're worth it right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but you could say, no, I won't do that. That's totally fine. I'm not going to judge you for it or anything like that. I just need to know if it's worth, you know, my time to set up. So let me know in the comments and uh, go ahead and ask a question for next week, and I'll be happy to answer it either on Facebook Live or I'll go ahead and answer it right here on the YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. As always, remember, live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.